Hey guys, Nash here. So in this video, I will show you how to overclock your phone from 60 hertz to 70 hertz. So when you overclock your phone, you easily get 70 FPS in games like PUBG and Call of Duty. Now you might already know that if you want to play on higher FPS, you must buy expensive phone like OnePlus 8T and Samsung S20. But not everyone wants to spend thousand dollars on a phone, and that's why I made this video. So let's get started. So guys, normally to play games on 70 FPS, you must buy a very expensive phone. But in this video, I'm going to use very cheap and old phone called Redmi Note 7 Pro. So as you can see, currently my phone display is 60 Hz and no matter what I do, I just can't go beyond 60 FPS in games or even in day to day use. So here is a quick video of before and after overclocking my phone. So by default, my phone is 60 Hz, which means I can only pay 60 FPS. But after overclocking my phone, I'm easily getting around 65 plus FPS and sometimes 70 FPS in PUBG and Call of Duty. And even though I increase my FPS still, my phone is not overheating. I can easily play games for longer hours. Also following this method, you won't have to delete or wipe anything in your phone. But still to be safe, make sure you take full backup. Now let me quickly show you in the about section I'm using Corus OS. This is Android 10. And the stock kernel here is maxed up kernel. It's very good kernel for normal use, but you can't go above 60 FPS. And now you can see my PUBG performance on this stock kernel. It's very good for 60 FPS, but no matter what I do, I just can't go beyond that. So no matter which app you install from Play Store, still maximum you will get is 60 FPS. So first we are going to install a custom kernel called Azure. Of course the link will be in description. So now we are going to reboot into our recovery. You can use any custom recovery you want. I'm using Orange Fox. Now in this video I'm using Corus OS, but you can use any custom room you want. Still this method will work. And now we are booting into recovery. I'm using Orange Fox. You can use TWRP if you want to. But if you want to install Orange Fox, I will drop a link below. So now before you do anything, make sure you take full Nandroid backup. Once you do that, go to your install tab, locate that Azure kernel that you downloaded and swipe right to install. So this process will only take one minute and if you have any errors, make sure you install latest firmware. So after reboot, as you can see, our maxed up kernel is now replaced with this Azure Plus kernel. After the reboot, as you can see in our screen app, still we are at 60 FPS. We are going to install that 70 FPS mode. And now we are going to boot into our recovery second time. Now here we have two options, 68 FPS mode and 70 FPS mode. I personally tried both and I found 68 FPS works great without any problem. And now we are going to install this 68 FPS file. But before that, make sure you backup your current kernel. For that, go to backup and select only DTBO file. Swipe right and in case anything goes wrong from here, you can come back here and restore this file. And now locate your downloaded 68 FPS or 70 FPS file. Again, it's your personal choice if you want to install 70 FPS. So once you select the 68 FPS, select this DTBO image and swipe right to install. It will only take one minute and now you can reboot your phone, but still our installation is not done yet. We still have to install one last file. So after reboot, as you can see now our screen is overclocked to 68 FPS, but still we cannot play PUBG at 60 FPS. We still need to install one more file. So if you don't install this last file, still you can use your phone on overclock display and 68 FPS and you will see a huge difference in your screen. Now for the next file, we are going to need Magisk Manager. So make sure you have Magisk Manager installed in your phone. If you don't have, I will drop a video in description and then download this last file called Game Unlocker Zip. Select this Game Unlocker file, follow the instruction and reboot your phone. So after reboot, now your phone is completely overclocked. Now, no matter which game you play, you will always get 65 plus FPS. In your day-to-day -day task, you will see a huge difference, especially when you're scrolling in social media apps. So 70 FPS is tested on Redmi Note 7 Pro. So keep that in mind. 
and also like if you appreciate my work and i will see you tomorrow